Honorable viewers, I welcome all of you to my YouTube channel Jet. Sorry, not Jet BD24. It's a department of English. So today's topic is a bachelor's complaint of the behavior. So let's get started. A bachelor's complaint of the behavior of married people was first published in 1823 in Charles Lamb's. 1775 to 1832 essay collection essay of Elia. This essay has a mock series or pseudo series tone and it is written in an argumentative style. Charles Lamb's essay, A Bachelor's Complaint of the Behavior of Married People, is just what the title suggests. It is indeed a bachelor's complaint of the behavior of married people. Lamb emphasizes his single status in the start of the essay as a single man and in doing so, separates himself from the married people. He talks about married people as if they are despicable, despicable and offensive and gives both hypothetical and personal examples to back up his points. Married people set themselves apart in their wing groups through their attitudes. They really do seem to be off in their own little old of love. And this is what Lamb dislikes. He believes that married people prefer one another to all the world. And openly plowed it, thus offending singles such as Lamb by implying that they are not the object of this preference. Furthermore, Lamb believes that overall, singles are looked down on married people are undoubtedly more favored and knowledgeable. The main complaint that Lamb is making throughout the whole essay is the married people's attitudes and how they demonstrate their status. Towards the end of the essay, Lamb brings up the subject of children and how they also contribute to the married people's attitudes. He brings out all the negative aspects of children and emphasizes them by listing them continuously with dishes as separation. By using the negative aspects of children, he furthers his disapproval of married people and their actions. Lamb's purpose in writing a bachelor's complaint of the behavior of married people is to bring to attention the attitudes of married people. He wishes for his attitude audience to realize how married people subconsciously fluent plant themselves in their love, offending those who care single. Ultimately, he hopes that married people will bring themselves to correct their mistakes and be more considerate towards others. His structure he structures his argument by stating his main reason for decrying married people is because he believes them to be overly involved with each other and their love that they discard and prick it up in the faces of singles to shamelessly. From this claim, Lamb offers personal and antidotes as well as hypothetical situations that illustrate and support his points. He concludes his essay starting that although he despises their attitudes, he is still willing to forgive their jealousy and dispense with toying with their beds, but thinks it unreasonable to be called upon to love them. Throw Lamb's willingness to forgive these people whom he disproves of. He is seen to be credible with good values and his readers are more inclined 
to believe his odds and work to correct the attitudes of mad people. The structure of Lamb's argument logically appear, appeals to the uh, to his readers, for it flows and flows and clarifies his points through examples. However, Lamb fails to address any possible counter arguments. His argument addresses only the negative aspects of married people, but surely there are positive sides as well. By failing to address and disprove these pos uh, possibilities, Lamb leaves room for doubt. Despite this, his argument stands strong. The examples he gives are cogent and through his personal anecdotes, he is able to establish a connection with the audience. He also appeals emotionally, especially to the singles, for he is a wrestler himself. The injustice that he sometimes feels can appeal to others who have felt the same way. Although there are some flaws in his arguments. They are overlooked and undermined by his credibility and emotional appeal. Overall, Wessler's complaint of the waiver of married people is effectively portrayed through Lamb's arguments and claims. His complaints are easy to understand because of the examples that he gives. He makes many good points about married people and most likely is able to persuade many readers of his views. So that's all about today's topic for the timing. Thanks for your patience, Yari.